Hey there guys and welcome! In this video, we're going to take a close look at the SEO PPC Competitor Research Tool. It is a tool that can tell you everything you need to know about both organic and paid search activities of any domain. It can help you find out who your organic and paid search keyword competitors are and what keywords they rank for. Plus, it can tell you what keywords and ads they use in their paid campaigns now and in the past. On top of that, the tool can also help you find similar, related, long tail keywords and compare domain semantics to understand what keywords your website's missing. Now, let's continue to the tool and take a look at several examples of how it can be used. The SEO PPC Competitor Research Tool can be accessed from the Tools menu. Once you're in, start by selecting the search engine, Google is the default option, and the country. By the way, we're constantly expanding our list of available countries, so keep an eye out for updates. Now, you can either enter a domain, an exact URL, or a keyword or phrase into the search box. Let's enter a domain to see just how the tool can help you out. Once the domain data loads up, you'll see the Overview tab. It contains a summary of the analyzed domain that helps you quickly evaluate its organic and paid traffic. Besides showing you data for the country you initially selected, our platform also provides info on other countries. This helps you understand the global promotional opportunities of the analyzed domain. Here you can also find a table of organic keywords, ranking graphs, competitor semantics comparison diagrams, as well as popular SERP pages and subdomains. Plus, you get the same data on paid traffic. And at the very bottom, you can see the most popular keyword ads. All of the data in the tool is updated on a monthly basis. If you want to get more information on any metric under the Overview tab, click on it to get a detailed report or go to the tab you're interested in using the sidebar. Let's start by going to Keywords under the Overview tab. Here you'll find a list of keywords that your website ranks for in organic search. Straight away you can see the number of organic keywords, the estimated volume of organic traffic from Google based on current rankings, and the estimated cost of traffic for the analyzed keywords. Select one of the graphs to find out if your site's getting higher rankings, check the ranking dynamics, or see how many of your keywords are ranking in search. If you notice an upward growth curve, that means your SEO efforts are paying off and more of your web pages are getting ranked. If you scroll down, you'll see the list of organic keywords, their rankings, and other data like search volume, cost per click, and traffic to name a few. Hover over any parameter to find out what it means and how it's calculated. All of the keywords are sorted by traffic by default so that you can instantly see which ones are most effective and profitable. If you want to sort the keywords by a different parameter, just click on it. You can also apply filters to make the list more specific and export the results in the XLS or CSV file format. To find out how your results have changed in comparison with the previous check, that is, compared to the previous month, click on Ranking Changes. Here we have the following tabs, Improved, Decreased, New, and Lost Keywords. You can use the graph to see the website's ranking dynamics for any keyword category. Now let's click on Competitors to see the list of websites that get organic traffic using the same keywords as the analyzed domain. In the first column, you see the total number of keywords that the analyzed site has in common with each competitor. The higher the number, the higher the chances you're looking at your direct competitor. In the next column, you can see what keywords your competitor is ranking for in the top 100 search results, but the analyzed site isn't. And you can also see the total number of keywords of the analyzed domain and each one of its competitors. By clicking on any result, you can get a detailed breakdown. Let's do just that. As you can see, we got redirected to the competitor comparison sub-tab. Here you can see the complete list of keywords that the two analyzed sites have in common along with their overlaps. You can actually compare up to three websites in this sub-tab. In the Venn diagram, we can see the semantics overlaps of the selected sites. You can study the overlap data on any website combination by clicking on the diagram or by simply selecting a combination from this list over here. You can also view each domain's unique keywords and find out what keywords are missing for the analyzed domain. As a result, we get a vast range of keyword ideas. Find out which keywords are used by your competitors, how they compete with each other for various keywords, and so on. By going over to Pages, you can see the pages that are ranking among the top 100 organic search results. Find out how much traffic each page brings in compared to the overall volume of traffic, what the estimated volume of traffic will be and its cost, and the total number of keywords that the pages are ranking for in the top 100 search results. In the example, we can see that the home page is getting a lot of traffic, which makes total sense. Plus, we can also see that other pages like categories, catalogs, and stores are getting traffic as well. In addition, the tool provides the same data on popular subdomains. Besides SEO experts, PPC specialists can also use the tool to analyze paid traffic. 
The Pay Traffic Research tab has the same subtabs as the organic one, with one exception, the Ads History subtab. But let's start from the top. Under the Keywords subtab, you can see an overview of paid keywords, the estimated monthly cost of traffic, and number of clicks. The detailed analysis provides such data as the rankings position, the ad SERP location, top, side, or bottom, the ad snippet that also shows the number of ads featured in the search results, the search volume, cost per click, and so on. Analyzing the ranking changes in paid search results will help you understand a website's promotion strategy. Say you're analyzing a competitor. If you see that certain keywords are ranking at the top spots, that means your competitor is focusing on them and applying a lot of effort to promote certain offerings. And if you're also selling the same offer, you have to think carefully if this is a ranking spot worth fighting for. Conveniently, under the Decreased Keywords tab, you can see which competitor keywords have dropped in paid rankings and realign your strategy to try and take traffic from these keywords. The New Keywords tab shows all the new keywords that the competitor started using in his campaigns. This will ultimately help you monitor his marketing strategy. Under the Lost Keywords tab, you can similarly monitor his strategy by analyzing the keyword categories that the competitor is no longer advertising. This could mean a new opportunity for you. The Ads History sub-tab will reveal what keywords the competitor used in paid campaigns in the past, a list of the most popular ads, their text, and Google Snippet Preview. By clicking on the Show All Ads button, you'll get the competitor's ad timeline that you can use to borrow ideas for your own paid ad campaigns. If you want to see competitor keyword ads related to a specific holiday, event, or you just want to do some research, you can use the filter to specify the date range. Under the Competitors sub-tab, you can find every website that has keywords in common with the analyzed website in paid search results, as well as other paid keywords. If you're analyzing your own website, this is where you can easily see what keywords your competitors are using in paid search and use them in your own campaigns. The Competitor Comparison sub-tab here works just like the one under Organic Traffic Research. It lets you compare paid search competitors and study all of their keyword overlaps. Last but not least, the Pages and Subdomain sub-tabs let you know what competitor pages are being actively promoted, what categories are getting more attention in paid search, and how much traffic each page is getting. Besides providing a comprehensive domain analysis, the tool also provides one on keywords. Under the Overview sub-tab, you can learn the analyzed keyword search volume, click and traffic cost assessment, Google Ads competition level, and keyword efficiency index. Here you can also find the top pages in organic and paid search. Plus, you get a list of similar keywords along with such data as search volume, cost per click, and ads competition. Under organic results, you can find a list of websites that are ranking at the top of organic search results for the analyzed keyword, as well as their estimated traffic volume and cost. Under paid results, you can find a list of websites that are running ads for the analyzed keyword, along with their ranking position, ad snippet, estimated traffic volume and cost, and the total number of keywords. By going over to the Ads History sub-tab, you'll see the most popular ads for the analyzed keyword, their traffic volume, and cost estimate. The SEO PPC Competitor Research Tool doesn't only include domain and keyword analysis, but keyword suggestions as well. Basically, you can create a list of keywords for your site from scratch or expand on an existing one. Under the similar sub-tab, you can find a list of keywords that have a different ending or contain the analyzed keyword. Along with the similar keywords, you get data that will help you understand their quality. The related sub-tab shows alternative keywords that have the same pages ranking among Google's top 100 search results as the analyzed keyword. On top of that, you can also get long-tail keyword suggestions from Google right over here. The last thing I want to point out is the Expand Database option. If it so happens that you can't find any info on a website in our platform and therefore can't track any rankings or compare competitors, add your own list of keywords to our database. All you have to do is select the search engine, country, and add a list of keywords that your website's ranking for among Google's top 100 search results. All of the keywords are then added to the queue and it takes between 3 to 6 weeks to successfully add them to our database. This feature is already available to everyone on the Plus and Enterprise subscription plans. And that's it! We've gone through every feature of the SEO PPC Competitor Research Tool. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section or via live chat from your SE Ranking account. Oh, and be sure to leave a comment on what tool you'd like us to cover in the next video. Thanks for watching!